Welcome back to the Davy Brown 990 restoration. For those of you new, my name's Barry. It's been a long time since we could do this, isn't it? Sitting outside in the sunshine. It's lovely and warm as well. So, today's little job. We've got to amend and repair what alternator guard. Now, we need a piece welded on here to come out here. We need the end cut off here and this extended. So. So let's have a look at what alternator and what bracket in place. I've already repaired this once it was split along here. It was cracked all the way through because I think what had happened was this had gone missing. This was just hanging on by one and all this was wobbling. And I think it's fractured along here. So let's have a look. Let's turn that around that way so we can see. And this must be a bigger alternator than what was on the tractor originally. So, we want that on, try and find a nice place where it, because what we don't want is the veins catching as it rotates, isn't it? Right, so as you see, if we come, I've got a bit of steel plate there. If we come straight off here with a bit of steel plate, we would get that hole. I need to chop that off there and then put a bit of steel plate again straight on there and that would get to that hole. The hard bit is because because this is a bigger fan, we just need to make sure that we are getting enough clearance before we drill the holes. So, if we cut that off just at the back of that hole, we're going to need a bit about two inches to go on there, which will allow us to shape it. And we need about inch and a half for this side, which will allow it to shape it. And that'll give us enough room to mess about in the holes because this is the this is tapped. This one's tapped here. This is the end that fits onto the adjustment bracket. This is the end that fits onto the fixed bracket. <coughs> and it sits on the tractor in that orientation doesn't it? So we need that to come in something like that don't we? Might even be advantageous what do you think to weld a bit of across the front of there. Right Let's get on, let's get these lugs cut off, we'll get this dressed and tidied. We'll get some bits of steel cut and we'll get it all tacked up. Let's get this cut off, get this dressed up, get some bits of metal welded on. See where we're at, eh? Back in a minute.
Right, so we've got our lugs welded on, or extensions. We need to do a little bit of fettling yet, and we need to grind the welds off the inside of here. I'll do that with a little little stone and uh, um, a little drill. We're getting this one shaped up a bit. Centre popped it. We're going to put a pilot hole through, because only thin steel. And then we're going to pop a three-eighths drill through. Create the clearance hole for that bolt. Then we'll get it bolted on, we'll get the other hole marked, we'll get this end cut out and this shaped up and then we'll get it finished off and we'll try a trial fit, will we? Right, let's crack on. We'll shape this end up now. We will lock that on there. Make sure we've got free play in there. Like that. Now we need to mark this end. Without the catching. Um, pop that in there so I can get underneath for my scriber. Okay. Now this end has to be clearance. Okay. Let me go and centre pop that. Then we'll drill it and then we'll shape it. Back in a minute. We've got our second end marked, set up on the vise here. We'll find our centre. And then we'll drill it through. So we're going to catch our blocks. That's my deep burr. Big drill. Nice and easy in it. One more trial fit. Let's get it. Not the right thread, but it fits the hole. There we go. Okay. So what we can do now, shape this end up, finish off. I need to put a new battery in the camera. Um, We'll get that sorted, we'll get this end radiused, tidied up like this end and we'll fettle up these with a grinding wheel. 
and we'll come back to you. See you soon. Right guys, that's it finished for the time being. Apart from I've got some little fettling up to do on the wells where I missed here. And you don't know that until you brush it and the slag comes out. But uh, that's it sorted. We'll pop up to the tractor with it, give it a test fit. Make sure everything works with the belts and everything else in place. Whip it back off, give it a clean up, coat of paint. Jobs are good. Uh, so it's in place. It's clearance there. What I forgot was that bolt came in from the opposite side. So I need a longer bolt and a nut to be able to put it on this side. And um, mind. Then up here. I need to take this corner off here a bit more. It's there is clearance there. But just so we'll take that corner off a bit just on the bigger angle across here and it'll still give it the same stiffness. So we've got there a few little jobs to do. Um I say we'll knock that corner off, we'll tidy everything up and it'll be sorted, won't it? Right. Let's get it back off. Let's get some fettling done. As always. Thanks very much for visiting guys. That's it for this one. Uh, as always, your time is greatly appreciated when you come visiting us. So even though we are just tinkering with little bits of pieces. Remember, don't overthink it. It's only nuts and bolts. Catch you in the next one. Ta-da now.